What's up, guys? How's it going? Mike the Tech here, and we have a super exciting one for you today. We have an unboxing for probably the best keyboard I have ever used, and that is not an exaggeration. So, before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So, if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So, onto the video itself, we are talking about the Everest Max by Mountain. So, Mountain Everest Max. And this is honestly, I said it in the intro, but one of the best keyboards I have ever tried. You can choose which type of keys you would like as well. Uh, they are interchangeable switches, um, completely aluminum enclosure, uh, so that you can flip out whichever keys you would like and switch them out with other ones. We have options for MX Speed Silver, MX Brown, MX Red, MX Blue, and MX Silent Red. The keyboard comes in gunmetal gray and black, uh, which of course I got the black because it looks amazing. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing before I continue talking about it because I could talk about it for a very long time. And I know you guys want to see the video itself. All right, so here is the unboxing. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Bring out the handy dandy knife and go ahead and open that up. And I did purchase this from Newegg, so I didn't buy it directly because they were out of the switches I wanted. Um, <laughs> awesome is here. Uh, and they were not lying about that. <laughs> it is really, really awesome. But yeah, so they didn't have it at the uh, mountain.gg website. So I did buy it from Newegg. Uh, so some of this may be packaged differently. We have some advertisements here, not a sponsor. And here is the box itself. So on top it says Reach Your Summit. And it's a very nice reusable box, which I think is really, really cool. Um, I'll show you what that means in a moment. But it is a very unique packaging for this let's go ahead and pull it out of the plastic very clean looking box now you'll feel that this is actually rubber in the front and uh that's kind of cool in terms of how it opens so i'll show you that in a moment i just have to cut open those let's take a look at the back real quick and this is what the keyboard actually looks like. So we have a hot swappable, essentially aluminum frame for keys and switches. We have a top LED display and we have a uh, 10 key that can be switched from the left and right hand side of the keyboard itself uh, whenever you want, as well as the top can be moved back and forth. I did get the Cherry MX Blue in Midnight Black and we'll talk more about how it uh, connects together shortly. Uh, but first, let's open up this case. All right, now that that is sliced, let's see how it opens up. And it flips open from the side and opens upwards to show the uh, keyboard itself. Very, very nice uh, setup here. And you'll notice that there's kind of a drawer on the bottom too. Uh, let's take a look at the top here. Innovation, aesthetics, customization, and performance. The mountain design mission. They definitely met their design mission because this thing can be used in so many different ways. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Nice, clicky, tactile keys, aluminum frame. Each key is individually lit RGB, and we have some nice routing for the cable management on the bottom as well. We have uh, multiple ways to connect the top adapter as well as a USB port. We do have a magnetic wrist guard here. Pretty strong magnets, actually, surprising. And uh, nothing else inside this top of the box here. And I actually removed that foam because um, it's very well packaged for shipping. But I actually removed the foam later to use as an actual drawer. Uh, and speaking of the drawer, we have an actual drawer in this that pulls out. I'd never seen this before in a uh, case of any type. And I've done a lot of unboxings, but this is really, really cool. It pulls out and you have all of your accessories. So let's take a look at these. The first one here is uh, the customization box, which shows you some examples of the different key types or key switches available. So you can actually feel them and say, hey, I kind of like this one. I want to buy a set of reds, maybe. And then it has another escape key in case you don't like the mountain logo escape key. And then it has magnets as well, which act as feet for the uh, bottom of the keyboard. And they go in very strongly. These magnets are really strong and they stay in place. Um, you can also adjust them slightly here, but um, the magnets work really, really well to basically choose your height. Let's put those back in there. And we also have uh, a keycap remover. So it'll remove the keycap and it will remove the switch as well. Um, just like that, you drop it on, pull it out. Easy uh, in, easy out, pretty cool. 
Um, nice that they included all of this because this is, again, a customizable keyboard so that you can replace the switches if you'd like. Um, let's go ahead and put this away and see what else we have in the box. All right, so here is the media dock. This goes on top of the keyboard and it can go in two different directions. Uh, it is a 240 pixel by I believe 204 pixel screen um, and it is a rotating dial. So not only do you have some buttons for media controls, but you also have a dial that can be used not just for audio, um, but for almost anything. You can program it and you can even um, use it to control the lighting on your keyboard. It has its own menu and screen. Very, very cool um, thing. It's not a touchscreen, but it is a rotating dial. We'll get into the um, buttons and, and LED screen portions of this shortly. And this can go on the left or right side of the keyboard as well on the top. Let's pull this off. Very nice. This is a USB-C connection. I'm sure there's some proprietary stuff, so you can't just plug any USB-C into that. Um, but let's see how it connects. So right up top, we have a USB on the left and on the right and it snaps on just like that. Very aesthetically pleasing. I currently use it on the right hand side, not the left um, as shown there, but um, I ended up getting more used to it on the right. Now we have the 10 key, which is a very interesting style. It actually has four LED screens um, that act as buttons. So programmable buttons, just like you would find on the Elgato stream docks and uh, the Maribox stream docks, stuff like that. Um, very cool to see built right into the keyboard and the 10 key has the exact same um, metal frame as well as the switches that you'll have on the main keyboard and this can go on either side of the keyboard the left or right hand side which is very cool very reminiscent of the dj hero style uh, controller where you'd be able to just flip the bottom switch and uh, use it on the opposite end very interesting setup that they have with this and again, going with the mission statement, very customizable. And let's go ahead and put that away. Here we go. And finally, some USB cables. A nice, very thick C to C USB cable. One thing I will say is I did read the reviews online about uh, the cables being very, very important. And I would personally recommend using the included cable because it's worked perfectly for me. Um, but if you do replace it, use a high speed cable. Um, don't use something cheap because there's a lot going through it. There's uh, the keyboard itself, there's the screens, there's actually multiple screens, dials, media pads. Um, and some people have said that if you uh, have everything plugged in and use a third party cable, it might not work as well. So just a heads up, I use the included cable and it works beautifully. So there's an A to C cable, USB A on one end, USB C on the other, as well as a USB C to USB C cable. Now uh, there's also a shorter USB-C uh, extension cable, uh, which is kind of cool and it's used to move the 10 key out of the way in case you don't want it connected directly into the keyboard itself, which I'll demonstrate shortly. So here we can actually unplug the 10 key, place this more towards uh, the center, plug in the extender and then plug it into the keyboard. And you can have your 10 key over off to the side and this works on the left or the right, uh, which is really, really useful. I personally just have it directly connected to the keyboard. It looks more aesthetic in my opinion, but um, if you're doing a lot of work and you're used to having um, a more ergon ergonomic pose, uh, you might want to use that. So here it is, the Mountain Everest Max keyboard. Um, beautiful looking keyboard, completely customizable, and it'll, it'll last a really long time being completely aluminum. And if any of the switches mess up, you can just replace the switch directly. It is... Uh, Honestly, probably the best keyboard I've owned. Even the clicky dial, super nice addition. And that's it for this one. I've actually been using this keyboard for uh, quite some time now, maybe two, three weeks or so, and I'm typing faster than ever. I'm really enjoying uh, the tactile and clickiness of it, uh, and it's awesome. Now let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to answer. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And kudos, we rock that pseudo administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?